Stephen Rose. He attends Taylor County Elementary and he's in the sixth grade. Liam enjoys telling jokes, video games, and wrestling. Liam will be performing a comedy act. Please welcome Liam Rose. Hi. Hello. Hey everybody, my name is Liam Rose, and if you didn't know already, I have been diagnosed with something called autism. When you think of autism, you're probably thinking, what kind of language is that? <laughs> and if you didn't know what the sounds were for, those are obviously drums. And if you don't know what drums are for, then drum person, drop the beat. <laughs> no, 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 that's not how you do it. Hang on, I'll be right back. This, this right here, is how you drop the beat. Now, I don't want to go on and on talking about myself because I'm not a writer. Instead, I want to get to know all of you who are in this auditorium. So, I'm going to have you guys take part in a little bit of a get to know you survey. But before I start that, my first question is, make some noise if you hate surveys. <laughs> ah, my ears. This reminds me of going through a hole as a drive through there's a little kid at McDonald's in here in the screech of the drive-thru speaker. Talk about a sensory overload. <laughs> Let me tell you, those chicken McNuggets weren't worth it. <laughs> and neither were the Big Macs. And the french fries? Okay, I am getting a little hungry, so I guess they were actually worth it. Anyways, I'm getting off point. Let's get back to autism. Being born with autism, means you're born with different types of disabilities. One of mine is making bad eye contact. <laughs> oh man, that's better. But wait, I'm lonely now. Dang it. Oh, you guys were over there. Sorry about that. Guess I'm not lonely after all. <laughs> Actually, making good eye contact has gotten easier for me throughout the years. And another thing that has been taught to me is safety. What I've learned is that you don't talk to somebody that you don't know, and you sure as heck don't go with someone that you don't know. So, for any of you kidnappers who are trying to learn me to your van full of candy, you can forget about it. Even if it's, even if it's all red star first, I still won't go for it. But, free Wi-Fi on the other hand, is hard to pass, so. Now, some of you today haven't been to Kid Spot, but that's okay. We have real places to go to anyway. In the Kid Spot Center, you will see a picture that has a puzzle with missing pieces that represent autism. Every time, and I mean every time I look at this, I think, well, there's a piece of my life that's missing. That's getting a girlfriend. <laughs> now, I know quite a few friends here at Kid Spot that have probably quite a few good friends. So next time I see them, I'm gonna walk up to them like this, look them square in the eye, and just bow down on my knees and say, teach me your secrets, oh wise one. <laughs> They're probably gonna be like, well, you know how people say to be yourself? That is true, but don't do this to your friends. They will look at you like you're insane. Another disability I've had with autism is issues with anger. Now, now, for example, I thought I was Hercules on the grandmother's creek when I was two years old. Listen, I know that sounds absurd, and you're absolutely correct, it is absurd. But another thing that was absurd is that um, at the creek, I tried to pick up a rock that was as big as me. And keep in mind, I was two years old. I'm not where I am now. I can basically pick up about anything. See, I'm strong, people. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, that went well. So, but let me tell you, I would get so ticked off every time I couldn't pick up this rock. I'd be like, come on, you stupid rock, you move already. I was gonna be John Cena, it was gonna be Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock. I was gonna body 
body slam you somebody? No. Sheesh. <laughs> but rocks weren't the only thing I hated as a kid. I still hate stuff to this day. Which is basically about anything that I hate. <laughs> well, another thing that I hated is this big orange peanut ball. And if you'll be thinking, what's the matter with the orange peanut ball? Well, in the gym that kids bought, they had this big peanut ball that was like right here that kids could um, help with, I don't know. They would use it for help and you know, just say it helped me with a lot of things. I would always put on this big indoor trampoline and I pretend I like matches with it. You know what happens when you put, when you get a kid plus a peanut ball on a trampoline? A recipe for disaster. But as I'm, and every time, this thing almost knocked me out. I would get fighting mad in my head. I would go so hard on it. But as I've gotten older, I've learned to go more easy on that darn peanut ball. And you'll be happy to know that me and the peanut ball have became good friends. For now. Well, that's about it. But I'm going to end it off just like that. So question for you guys. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, what are you going to call? No, no. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Trust me. It's not what you think. Just let me finish. When there's something strange.